everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly and welcome back to another Thoughts on Thursday. Today I want to talk about different types of foundations. I had a friend ask me, hey, when is it a good time to wear powder foundation? And I was like, let me put it in a video for you. So Lacey, this video is for you. If this sounds like something you're really interested in and you want to hear my thoughts on the different types of foundations and when is a good time to wear it, if you should be wearing it, give this video a big thumbs up and let's jump right into the video. Okay, I tried to pull one of every product out of each category that I have, although there are a couple that I am missing. So I will mention them, but I don't have them in front of me to share my thoughts on. And I will say I'm not a trained makeup artist. These are just my opinions. I am 36 with dry to very dry skin that is aging. It has crinkles and wrinkles and larger pores as I'm aging. So these are just my thoughts. I will say too that you have to be aware of your skin condition, what you normally are, what you are every day. Today I am very dry. Yesterday I was very, very dry. And the day before that I was just kind of dry. So with the weather, your skin changes. With what you're putting on your face, your skin changes and, and so on. So just be aware and conscious of your current skin condition from day by day. So that'll really help you decide, okay, this is not a good day for this and move on. But let's start by talking about a powder foundation. My personal favorite powder foundation is the Pure Foreign One Mineral Pressed. I think this is the only one I really, really would highly recommend. I have dry skin, like I said, and on my very, very dry days, I cannot wear this. Depending on the weather outside, if my skin is very dry, but we have a little bit of moisture in the air, I can get away with this. Also depends on primers, which will be in another video, <laughs> but that will make a difference. This, it doesn't settle in my fine lines. It's really nice. It doesn't emphasize dry patches either. As long as I'm watching what kind of day I'm having and what primer obviously I don't think it is oil controlling at all I do think personally if you have really oily skin because your body is constantly making those oils and the powder foundation is not one that claims to be oil controlling I don't think this would be for you I wouldn't recommend it if you really have had a problem with oils coming through quite a bit I don't think this would be good at all because it would just slide everywhere. Next, I want to talk about stick foundations. I uh, The only one I have on hand is the Golden Rose Stick Foundation in the shade 2. I mean, everybody knows about stick foundations. As far as dry skin, it's really hard to find a good one. This is a good one. I've used up a NYX Mineral, the Mineral Stick Foundation. I don't have a lot of good luck with stick foundations, mainly because of my dry skin. It Sometimes it pulls too much on my skin and then it just looks awful. But these are really nice. They're very quick and I think that's who should be using this. Somebody that wants some a very quick application, you can get them in a wide range of coverages from light to a very full coverage. So this is definitely a great option if you're a busy person. One thing I do not have but kind of is similar to the stick foundation is a cream foundation. This foundation is usually potted and is very, very heavy and thick. A lot of people use it like in theater and it's very full coverage. It gives you great, great coverage. A cream foundation is also very, very pigmented, so the color that you pick is the color that you get. I'm not a full coverage person. I don't have it. I'm not in a theater, so I don't have one on hand, but it is an option. If you do have something that you really do need to cover, cream would probably be a fantastic option because it's highly pigmented, very full coverage, and where you put it, it stays. Next, I want to talk about mousse foundation. Mousse is best described if you were to take a cream foundation mixed with a liquid foundation, you would get a mousse kind of consistency. You get good coverage, but it doesn't feel super heavy. It's kind of lighter like a liquid. And for me, I have the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Total Cover. I love this foundation. This is probably my favorite mousse foundation I've ever tried. 
This is part of my project pan for 2019. I will link that video in the cards. But this is a really great consistency for dry skin. I can wear this any time of the year. I can wear it in the summer months when it's super hot and humid. I can wear it in the dead of winter when my my skin is considered very, very dry. It's as long as i am got really good skincare on and, and I use the right primer with this, I can wear this whenever. And it does dry down by itself. This does not need to be set. So I really think anybody could get away with using this. If you have oily skin, though, you might want to set at least your T-zone with it. But this is a really great option if you want something that's lighter weight, but a little bit more coverage. This on its own, I think, is a medium to high medium coverage, and you can build this to completely cancel out something. It's, so this is buildable, and it's a really nice foundation if you're looking for a mousse foundation. Next, let's talk about liquid foundations. It's probably the most popular kind of foundation out there. Everybody has used a liquid foundation. These foundations, you can get many different types of finishes from very light to very full coverage, but you can also get different finishes. You can get matte, demi-matte, semi-matte, luminous, take your pick. What is it that you like? So for liquid foundations, you really have to know what your skin type is and what is going to work best for what you need a foundation for. Do you need it to just even out the skin tone? You, you know, you could get away with the lighter foundations or do you have something that really needs to be covered up? Then, you know, you're going to need that. And also if you have drier skin, you might want to stay away from the more matte type foundations and same for oily skin you are going to want something that is matte and something that will help control your oils. So knowing, really knowing what type of skin you have really plays a part with the liquid foundation and also what your end game is with your makeup. So there's a lot of varieties. And right now I, I want to talk about the Revlon Candid Foundation. This is a natural finish foundation. This is fantastic on dry skin. I don't have to set this, although I can set it and it still wears the same. So this is a very versatile foundation for dry skin, for aging skin. And I think this would even be really good for somebody with oily skin because it does set on its own. I think you would really enjoy this as well because I don't feel like it's a matte foundation, but I don't feel like it's a luminous foundation either. It's just a foundation. Very much so in the middle. So I think I think this this foundation particularly would be great for many, many different skin types. Another form of liquid foundation I did want to give a mention to is the cushion foundation. I have the Wet n Wild cushion foundation. In this one, you have the foundation and it's in a sponge in here and you just take the applicator or just a makeup sponge and you dab in there. This is also technically considered a liquid foundation. These are great. I feel like these are a little bit more moisturizing and on the lighter coverage than anything in a pump or a tube or a container. But I would say that this is one of the lighter forms of a liquid foundation. There's also three different types of foundation that you can get that kind of reap some skincare benefits. I have two of them sitting here. I'm going to talk about the one that I don't have first, and that is a BB cream. I haven't found a... Side note, I haven't found a BB cream I like. If you have a BB cream suggestion, leave it down in the comments. I want to know. I want to find one. But if you didn't know what a BB cream is, the BB stands for Beauty Balm, and this is best for people that are in a really big hurry somebody that doesn't have time to sit down and do a 10 step skincare routine and then prime and then do the foundation. And so this one really a lot of times has a lot of skincare moisturizing benefits in it and a primer as well as the foundation. There typically isn't a ton of coverage with a BB cream, but it is something that will even out the skin tone on a, kind of a lighter finish, but they are beautiful on the face. If you can find one, <laughs> have, like I said, I haven't found one that I like, so if you have suggestions, let me know. But those are a really great option for somebody that's got dry skin that's, you know, kind of for the days that you're in a hurry instead of the stick, try a BB cream. 
Another skincare kind of foundation is the CC Cream. Everybody's heard about the IT Cosmetics by now CC Cream. This is a great, great foundation. The CC stands for Color or Complexion Correcting Cream, which is really hard to say. <laughs> But this one, it has a little bit more of canceling, correcting pigments in here, as well as the skincare ingredients. So, in same thing with the BB cream. This, you can kind of go a little bit lighter on your skincare because there is skincare benefits in here. It does more of the canceling than a multi-step, if that makes sense, than the BB cream. The BB cream is more multi-step. This is more for correcting. There's many different ingredients as far as skincare, obviously, and you really have to know what your targets are for what you're looking for and to see if that's in your CC cream because not all CC creams are created equal. A skin, the CC cream might have a skincare benefit in here that it doesn't work for you or is not useful. There we go. So just check the ingredients. Make sure you know what you're looking for. Another skincare benefiting foundation are serum drops. I only have one serum drop foundation, but I really do love it. It's the Ulta Beauty Youthful Glow Foundation Serum Drops. I really like this. This is light coverage. You can build it up to a very low medium coverage. And I like this for no makeup makeup days. I like this for fast days. And I really think I'm going to like this a lot through the summer and my busier months towards the end of the school year here. I can wear this absolutely any time of the year. I bought this in the dead of winter when I was very, very, very dry. <laughs> and I wore this yesterday and it's, it's perfect still. So, and right now I'm just kind of dry. So I really like this. I think this is really more for someone that has drier skin. I don't think people with oily skin would really be able to wear this for very long, if at all, because it's a serum. So there is oils in here. But again, just like the BB cream and the CC cream, you really have to read the ingredients on these skincare benefiting foundations because if you are not somebody that puts oils or a very hydrating serum on your face, you're not going to like this. This isn't going to work for you. If you're somebody with dry skin and you use a ton of serums and a ton of facial oils already, this is going to work for you. Hopefully with sitting down with me today and talking about what types of foundations and the purposes of why they actually make those foundations, you are able to sit down and pick a good foundation for the day. If you have any comments or any other suggestions or facts, talking points, whichever, please leave them down in the comment section. I don't claim to know everything and I will never know everything because I will constantly be learning. Also, if you're curious about this no makeup makeup look on my face, I have a tutorial coming for you tomorrow. I will link it down in the description box once it is live. I hope you had a great time today. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I do uploads Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern time and thoughts on Thursdays every Thursday. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!